In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Twinstep Manager to adjust and control camera settings and make sure that your system is functioning as it should be. Down here on the lower left, when opening the interface, you'll see a button that says Manager. When you click on it, it will load all of the settings and statuses that you have available for your scanner. On the upper left, you'll be able to find recent jobs that have been submitted, their preview status, their print upload status, that would be the full quality photo set uploaded, and the Cloud 3D preview. You'll also be able to find all submitted scans, not just the last 10, by clicking on View All Submitted Scans. You can also find all unsubmitted scans. So any scans that you did not submit at the end of a session will show up here along with their preview image. This is filterable, so I can type in 0781 and just filter to just that one scan. I can go back to the dashboard here. I can click order prints and that will open up the Twinda Manager on the web, so you can place an order through our platform. Then here we have scanner status. This will show you when you have hardware that is not responding. This would either be a camera or a projector. If it did not respond, one of those units, you would actually see the unit number listed here. And then you could go through your troubleshooting documents to check all of the cables and ensure that that camera is plugged in successfully. Below this is the cloud account status. This will show you how many additional previews worth of credit you have remaining for this month. You can see the account that you're currently logged in with, when you get more credits, how many parallel processes you get, so how many scans will process at the same time when you submit them for preview. And you have the ability to click the upgrade account button to get into your Twinda manager and upgrade that account in case you need more previews. On the right, you'll find camera settings. Camera settings allow you to set the shutter speed, the shutter speed with projection, the red gain, the blue gain, and the lights, whether they show during the projection. Here, you can manually adjust these settings. And then after you've adjusted them, you can click Save Settings. A window will pop up to confirm that the settings have been set successfully. On the bottom left, you'll find system support. Here, you can find the available space left on your system. This would be the free space on your hard drive. The current location ID that this system is registered to. This would be your scanner ID. And file cleanup, which is the option to automatically remove all files that you're not using after seven days. You can also find the user's guide here. This user's guide will help you run your scanner and get the best quality scans that you could possibly get. You'll find the pose guide, information about calibration, information about how to run captures, and troubleshooting information. Back on the dashboard, you can also submit a support ticket. Through our help desk, you can request assistance. Next to this is the cloud synchronization widget. Here, if you have any scans that need to be synced with the cloud, you can just click the button, Sync with the Cloud. And very simply, it'll load the page and let you know that it has synced all of the appropriate scans with our cloud service. Scans will show up here when you run them offline. If you do not have an internet connection, then the scans will still run. You'll still be able to capture as many captures as you'd like. But afterwards, when you do have a connection, you'll want to run this sync with the cloud utility. Idle Upload gives you the option of uploading full resolution photo sets or not. If this is turned on, in the background, when you're not using the scanner, it will upload those full resolution photo sets. If this is turned off, it won't. Also, you have the opportunity to turn cloud processing on and off. If you have a server rack, this option will appear. If you do not have a server rack, this option will be missing. Light power 
will let you turn the lights on and off in your system. By clicking power on, within a few seconds, your lights will turn on. And by clicking power off, those lights will turn off. Same with the projector pattern. Turn the projector pattern on. Turn the projector pattern off. This is helpful so that you can focus the projectors. Under device controls, you'll find that you can restart the cameras and projectors. This is good for troubleshooting. You can also run a camera calibration. The camera calibration will let you set the shutter speed for both the non-projected and projected captures, as well as the color gain settings.